Hi, I'm Mark, one of the co-founders at Enclave Networks, and today I'd like to show you how Enclave lets you close the firewall to prevent discovery, targeting, and attack of your systems, while still providing private network access to your computers, servers, cloud instances, containers, doesn't matter what infrastructure they're running on, all without needing a VPN server. So for this tutorial, I'm using AWS LightSail, and I've created a virtual machine running in the Frankfurt region, which I will remote desktop into. This server is simply running IIS, and sadly, I'm able to navigate to its public IP address, and we can see the default IIS website loading in the browser. Now, the reason for this, of course, is that out of the box, LightSail creates a firewall configuration that opens up ports 22, port 80, and port 3389. So let's start closing our ports, 3389, port 80, and port 22. Now, I actually already have Enclave installed and running on the system in Frankfurt, and I have Enclave installed and running on my local laptop. Now the firewall is completely closed, however, for the system in Frankfurt, we can expect that our remote desktop session will shortly stop working, as will our ability to access the IIS server via its public IP address. So this is exactly what we want, of course. We want our server to be dark to the public internet. We don't want people to be able to discover it. We don't want people to be able to connect to it. And we don't want people to be able to attack it. However, that system is also now dark to us. And this is normally where we bring a VPN server in or some other remote access technology. So I'm going to use Enclave to build a connectivity pathway instead. So let's show you how that works. I've got my two systems, my laptop and my server in Frankfurt, already enrolled. And you can see that my laptop is tagged as developers and my server in Frankfurt is tagged as internal app servers. So while my laptop doesn't have any connectivity just yet, if we create a policy between the developers tag and the internal app servers tag, then Enclave will create some connectivity for us between these two machines. So let's call this policy developers to internal servers and on the sender side of the policy we'll put developers and on the receiver side of the policy we will use the internal app servers tag so as i save this policy enclave will build direct end-to-end -end encrypted connectivity between my laptop and the server in frankfurt that will allow traffic to start moving from the sender side of the policy to the receiver side of the policy but critically not from the receiver side back to the sender. So my laptop can access the app server in Frankfurt, but the app server in Frankfurt cannot access my laptop. So Enclave has built the connectivity pathway. We can see traffic flowing to this IP address. And if we take a copy of this IP address and take it into the browser, there's our, our, our IIS server consumed by the Enclave tunnel. And Enclave has also created for us a DNS hostname and we can use that hostname also to access our server privately, all while keeping it hidden, protected, and invisible to the public internet. So I hope this was a useful tutorial. Please do check out our other resources to learn more. Thank you.